uh, controls have changed and basically what they've done is there used to be a little gear in the top right on a lot of these pages um, that would have hidden things that you can control. Quick Controls doesn't have anything other than that so that probably hasn't changed at all but uh, lights yeah so I bet you those settings were under a, a gear uh, before but now you just scroll up to see them. Uh, locks also I bet you some of these were these switches here were under a gear. Uh, display uh, those might have been under a gear. Drive doesn't look like it's changed. Autopilot. Uh, they've combined auto steer, auto lane change into just auto steer. Um, so that's not much of a big difference. This is my uh, offset. So the original uh, V9 uh, release did not include uh, navigate on autopilot, but the recent 2018.42 uh, release that's just coming out uh, today and or yesterday, uh, does give us the ability to navigate on autopilot. That's the uh, main screen where you enable it and you get a warning message here uh, to, that you have to accept. And then you can press the customize and just the top thing was released so far where you can uh, adjust how uh, aggressive it is uh, in changing lanes or suggesting a lane change. The require lane change confirmation will supposedly come out um, after I think 10 million miles of usage of Navigate on autopilot. So we should get that uh, maybe before the end of the year. And then when you uh, set up a navigation, if the road you're driving on uh, allows it, you'll have this Navigate on autopilot button that you can press right in your navigation screen and uh, the navigation uh, will uh, yeah, take place. Navigation is uh, just accessible either through the navigation app or through here and the one new thing is to use HOV lanes uh, and that way if you are like you have two or three two plus uh, passengers it would navigate you into the HOV lanes um, and if you have it off it won't navigate you into them I did notice uh, I had this set previously to 10 minutes um, or it reset to 10 minutes after V9 got installed. So you may want to check to see a after V9 install if this is set to what you want. Uh, I thought I had it set to five minutes and it can go down to one minute. I'm thinking two minutes might be nice to reroute if uh, traffic, if it can find a fa better path. Um, you have the, you can mute, unmute, uh, the voice, I usually keep that off because it interrupts music, uh, has these additional settings. So I don't think there's any new settings here. It's just showing you that you have access to them through a scroll service, nothing new, glove box. So the controls really just have given you access uh, without having things hidden under the gear. Uh, the status line across the top has changed. They've moved the um, time and temperature to the left, and then your seat or profile information, your uh, garage door opener, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth uh, signals uh, to the right. I might have liked, because I do use the profile and sometimes the garage door, at least the profile. I might have liked the profile over here. Um, it's going to be a little, you know, a minor uh, reach for those. Definitely don't mind the uh, two signal in indicators to the far right. And then unlocks here. So the status line. I was in Nashville this week and I saw the Stacy Mitchart band at the Bourbon Street Blues and Boogie Bar. Definitely check it out if you ever get down to Nashville. <laughs>
Thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. The name's weird, but the game is great, and you can find games virtually everywhere. If you want six months of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom left. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.